Yo, what's up, YouTube? This is your man, Junior, a.k.a. Smoking Guns, out here in Tucson, Arizona, representing the Ultimate Fight Club, giving you the latest content in boxing and MMA news that is out. So really good news right here, man, and definitely a fight that I am very much looking forward to. But it looks like this is a fight that nobody is talking about or nobody gives a damn about. Probably because of all the back and forth that has been going on with this fight, the fight to get scheduled, somebody you have to pull out due to medical issues. The fight to get rescheduled again, somebody you have to pull out again due to medical issues, and we won't know what the hell is going on with this damn fight. But it looks like this fight is finally on and popping. Amantis Stanionis versus Virgil Ortiz, July 8th, over there on the zone. Dude, this is definitely going to be a banging ass fight. But before we get started, make sure to hit the like button on the video, subscribe to the channel. And if you have anything to say, hit me up in the comments section. But going into this fight, the first time it was scheduled, Armantis Stanionis had to pull out because he had an emergency appendix surgery. When the fight got rescheduled, Virgil Ortiz had to pull out of the fight due to having a flare up of rhabdomyolysis. And there was all kind of rumors stating why the flare up ended up happening, all kind of rumors and speculation. Not going to get into the rumors and speculation, but he is coming out himself in a statement stating why that flare up ended up happening. And this is coming out on Mike Copinger's official Twitter feed where it states, Virgil Ortiz will return on July 8th versus Armantis Stanionis. Now that he's recovered from rhabdomyolysis and discovered it was caused by long COVID, Ortiz told ESPN on Thursday. Ortiz underwent extensive medical treatment in Fresno and is now 100%. He also comes out in the article stating, I actually had a hunch that that's what it was, but I didn't know too much about it. I'm not a doctor, Ortiz said. I've never felt this good in a good maybe three or four years. I'm still training hard. That was never the problem. I'm noticing that I'm not huffing and puffing, and I just feel great overall. I can't explain how good I feel compared to how I was. Ortiz, who received two shots of the Moderna vaccine, said he first contracted COVID during training camp for his July 2020 fight with Samuel Vargas, whom he knocked out in round six. And then there's a statement from a doctor where he says, it was not at all due to overtraining. The reason Virgil developed rhabdomyolysis is because he had a very tough bout of COVID, said Dr. Batista, who practices integrative medicine at Batista Health and Anti-Aging. It's an inflammatory disorder. With athletes, we tend to see that inflammation on the heart. We tend to see that inflammation on the muscles. Virgil took some time off, but that didn't cure or take care of his inflammation. And then there came out a statement from Virgil Ortiz Sr. where he comes out stating, this is why I ask people don't believe anything unless it comes out our own mouths. Well, here it is. This is exactly why my son has gotten rhabdo, quote. So with this news right here coming out, man, it's good that Virgil Ortiz is finally 100% over this friggin' rhabdomyolysis. And hopefully he doesn't have any other medical issues coming up. So he has to be pulling out any more damn fights. And hopefully Stan Ionis doesn't have any medical issues. So he has to be pulling out any damn fights. But with that being stated, this is definitely going to be a banging ass fight with the two styles that these two dudes bring very in your face, action packed fan friendly styles. It's going to be really interesting to see what kind of game plan these two dudes are going to bring into this damn fight. I definitely do not see the fight going to a decision. I definitely see somebody getting knocked out and somebody's O oh, definitely got to go, you dig. But until then, when this fight does come into fruition, I will definitely be giving my final thoughts on this damn fight. And when the final results happen, I will definitely be coming up with the aftermath on this damn channel, you dig. But until then, I hope you guys like the video. If you guys like the video, make sure to hit the like button. If you're not subscribed, make sure to subscribe to the channel. And if you have any kind of questions, any kind of comments, hit me up in the comment section and I'll be sure to hit you guys up. All right. So I hope you like the video. Holla at your man.